Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for the Advent Calendar Project Pan. This project was created by Elaine from HMM Makeup. I will have her channel linked down below. There's other people doing this project as well, so you could check those people out in my description box. I will have links to their YouTube channels or Instagram accounts, um, so you can find them and see if you like their content. This project is focused around the concept of a holiday advent calendar. You know, the thing with 24 boxes or slots that you open and you get a little present every day leading up until Christmas morning. Elaine loved that idea so much that she created this project in honor of an advent calendar. I do not have an advent calendar, as you know. So I made a list and numbered the items on the list and I've been using an app called Tiny Decisions to decide how I randomly pull these items from month to month. I pull two items every month regardless of whether I finish two or not and um, I've been working on them and trying to get through these products. Most of them are samples or deluxe samples so in theory I should be able to get through all or almost all 24 items in the year. I do have two empties for today so that's good, I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm so close to having a few more, Ugh, so close. My first empty is the other Soap and Glory No Woman No Dry Body Butter. I originally had two of these in this project for one number and I finished the first one, maybe at last month's update, maybe two updates ago, I'm not sure. But I finally finished the second one so now I could cross this one off my list. I mentioned it when I finished the first one, but I really like this body butter. Sometimes it was almost too fruity or too sweet, but it was really good and I did enjoy it overall. I would recommend that product, especially if you like sweet, fruity scents. My other empty is the Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30. I actually enjoyed this product so much that I bought a full size of this based on the sample, which doesn't happen very often. But I had Ulta points that I was trying to blow and I thought, this is a good SPF and I will blow some of them on this product. Plus Dermalogica is a cruelty-free brand, which makes me feel a little bit better. I try to be mindful of that. Um, yeah, so I enjoyed this so much that I bought the full size. There are some products rolling over for another month. First of all, I have my Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip Sample. It came with two colors. I already finished Smoothie Move, but I still have Big Apple, and it hasn't even been opened yet. I've been telling myself all week long, like, wear the red Bobbi Brown shade, Paula, and I still haven't even opened it. So um, I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm gonna try really hard to use that sample up by next month. There's only like, five uses tops in this little packet. I think I got four or five uses out of this side. Um, but I'm just not a big fan of red lipstick, so I haven't been jumping to get it used up. Despite the fact that I think the formula is really, really nice. One product I have been working on is this Bobbi Brown. Uh, one product that I have been using is this Too Faced Born This Way foundation sample in the shade Vanilla. I'm wearing it today and it's a pretty good color match. I think you could tell it's a little yellow compared to like my neck, but it, it works. I feel like I'm making it work, um, kind of. This would be too dark of a foundation for me any other time of the year, so I'm really glad I pulled this, and I do have another one of these in the Advent Calendar project, and I haven't reached for it yet, so hopefully I'll get it soon. But there is still product in here um, I've already probably used this three times, maybe four, and there's still plenty of product in there. So we'll see. These do last a long time. I guess I don't wear a lot of foundation. I feel like I do. I feel like I got a full face on, but I don't know. They last a while for me. And then, of course, the last product rolling over for another month is my... Hazelnut concealer from NARS that I've been using as a cream bronzer. This is an excellent cream bronzer. I like it very much, but I'm ready for it to be gone because it was not supposed to take me eight months to get through a sample of concealer. There's just a little bit of product along the edges. Other parts of the edges are cleared off already. 
soon, guys. Very, very soon. I don't know if it's going to be a week. It might. I'm going to say a, a week tops to finish this off. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right. I went to my Tiny Decisions app. I spun the wheel twice, and I got two numbers. And I found the two products that those numbers are associated with. First of all, I got number one. That is this Jisoo. Gisu hair oil, honey infused hair oil. Um, this is still sealed, but I did have another Jisu product in this project that I reached for a few months, that I pulled a few months ago. And boy, did that smell delightful. It was a hair perfume and it was lovely. Let's see if it's the same smell. This is more subtle and I, it is a little different. I could definitely smell the honey. It doesn't have that like sugary smell as much of a as much as it has the honey smell. So it is a little bit different. I do use a hair oil at pretty much every day that I wash my hair, which is every three days. So I'm looking forward to putting my current hair oil to the side and using this up. I think I'll be able to get this done by next month. So um, yeah. I'm excited to try this out. I do consider a hair oil to be part of my like daily or regular routine, whether it's this hair oil or something else. I I own a hair oil and once it's empty, I will go out and rebuy another hair oil. So it is, I'm curious to try this out and see if I like it better than the hair oil I'm currently using. And then I pulled another number through Tiny Decisions and that was number eight. And number eight is this Versace Pore Femme Dylan Blue. Every time I see this, I think it looks like a men's perfume, but I'm pretty sure Pore Femme is for her. So um, I don't know anything about the scent whatsoever. Let's see what it smells like. I have another perfume on, but why not? Hmm. It's nice kind of a flowery scent kind of like a rich flowery scent I like this I think I'm gonna enjoy using it so hopefully I can get this finished by next month as well hopefully I can get several of these finished by next month looking at you foundation looking at you concealer from NARS we'll see that is it for this update, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. That perfume does smell good. That's nice.